so we start our design process uh, in a 3D modeling space. So we kind of set up how we want it to look and, and get all the parameters right. We try to get all of our dimensions correct. And then from there, it's, it's a, quite a challenge to take it from a 3D space on a computer into the real world. Uh, we're able to use 3D printing, which is a, a massive help to print our bodies. Through our 3D printing, uh, obviously there's very little waste in producing that body. There's not a lot of uh, off clippings or, or waste material. And, and yeah, apart from our body, our, our whole frame is recycled hockey sticks. There are some custom components made with carbon fiber that we've had to do in-house. Uh, and those are certainly a little less recyclable. But again, we're all about minimizing the waste. They're not road legal. There's no sort of uh, uh, testing done on them in that way. But they do run and drive. So if you were on private property, there would you know, really be nothing stopping you from driving. The Shell Eco Marathon has a couple of categories of competition. There's a, a, the initial stage is fuel economy. And then once you pass the fuel economy stage, then there's also a, a race involved. So it's kind of a strategy between fuel economy and, and uh, the handling and performance of the, the vehicle. Most teams don't uh, get onto the track uh, with their first car the first year, so uh, this group of students did an amazing job. It's a really interesting dynamic. Obviously, we're all competing against each other, but at the same time, we're all there with the same goal in mind, and so much of it is just building that community. Uh, teams would come by our paddock asking for different parts, you know, maybe super little things, but still, they need them and we're more than happy to help out there. And it's not all about winning, obviously that's our goal, but it is about pushing the envelope of what we can do. Well, we're really, really excited about next year. Uh, we know we've got two really good cars and we're looking forward to um, moving forward and, and doing some fine tuning and having some really good results next year.